What separates treks in the Himalayas of Nepal apart from others is the rich tapestry of culture that awaits you. No matter how remote the mountains, you will always find settlements that have been around for eons. Places where people are still the embodiment of these cultures. All this in the backdrop of some of the highest mountains in the world. Landscapes that make you question whether you are in a dreamlike reality or a lifelike dream. The trek to Tsurulpa Lake is a special experience. It offers a unique opportunity to explore the raw natural beauty of the less trodden Rolvaling Valley in the eastern Himalayas of Nepal and the chance to interact with the warm hearted people who live here. <laughs> This incredible journey takes trekkers through a diverse range of landscapes as they traverse through rugged terrains. while the gushing Rolwaling River accompanies them along various sections of the trail as it nourishes vast rhododendron forests. As we take a walk through these magical woods and stroll into mystical lands, join us as this time we travel with some of our friends. And make new ones along the way. Oh. Hi, nice meeting you. To meet people from the remotest corners of the world and explore their unique ways of life, subscribe to Travarat if it's your first time here. The trek to Tsurulpa is not as popular as other treks in Nepal, but is nonetheless equally stunning and with fewer tourists and more tranquil routes. It gives hikers an authentic experience of the Himalayas, but still with enough travel facilities to get there. From the lower hills to the northernmost mountains of Nepal's Dolokhat district, here is a complete guide to the seven-day trek to Tsurulpa Lake in the Rolwaling Valley. So let us take you on yet another epic adventure in the Himalayas, the mother of all mountain ranges. Get ready to take some notes if you plan to trek through the mountains of eastern Nepal.
hit that like button for this glacier lake that sadly won't be around for too long and share this video with your travel companions with whom you would like to make this trip. bathing village where people still wear traditionally rich outfits we stayed with this elderly lady at her guest house for two nights hello inko She's a mother of 11, eight of whom have climbed Mount Everest, making them the holders of a Guinness World Record for the most number of siblings to have scaled Everest. We also got to witness how people still live here, a far cry from city life. Bathing is a small village set along the Rolwaling River within the Gauri Shankar Conservation Area. Uh. Gauri Shankar is one of the newest conservation areas of Nepal, appointed so in 2010 and it lies nestled between the Langtang National Park to the west and Sagarmatha National Park, home to Mount Everest in the east. It is part of the sacred Himalayan landscape which extends to western Bhutan. With about 70 households, Bething is also the biggest village in the northern section of the conservation area. Rich in cultural diversity, this region is inhabited by indigenous communities such as the Sherpa, Tamang and Hilmyo. These communities have unique traditions, languages and customs, adding to the cultural significance of the area. Namaste! Namaste. So we went around the village meeting locals and exploring what it is like to live here. Settlements like this that are set in the high altitude backdrops of the Himalayas tend to have a charm that radiates a stillness that city dwellers will never get to experience. We met this lady at her house and made a new friend. <laughs> You <laughs> My is the no month he has it. Hmm.
Today we will be making our hike up to Tsorolpa. From 3690 meters we will be ascending to 4580 meters in altitude. <laughs> On a lovely sunny morning in bathing, we headed out towards the village of Na. We came across these men who were transporting construction materials on their backs. We also met other locals who were traveling between the two villages. Walking along the icy blue river below you, surrounded by grazing yaks and snow-capped peaks will take your mind off anything that might be bothering you. We met more people along the trail. The Rolwaling Valley holds religious and cultural significance for the local communities. The valley is dotted with monasteries, shrines and other sacred sites that are revered by the people. After walking over 6 kilometers for almost 2 hours, we reached Na village, where we stopped for lunch. At Na, we mostly hung out with the yaks and appreciated their calmness. I am starving. Make sure to eat a big meal here for enough energy to get to Tsorolpa and back. Very unpopular. 
After devouring heavy lunch at Na, we are now making our last push towards Tsorulba. The road ahead is steep and rocky and we are now just across the western border of the Khumbu region where Mount Everest and many of the other highest mountains in the world are not too far away from us. The mountains that surround us right now themselves are staggeringly huge. Many are over 7,000 meters. The final ascent is steep and rocky. Out there, we were welcomed by a vast sea of white. About 80% of the lake was still covered in ice as the impending spring slowly melts the glaciers away. At 4,580 meters, Tsorulpa has grown considerably over the last 50 years due to glacial melting in the Himalayas. Glacial lake outburst flood has been a cause for concern here. The lake formed by the glacier has been expanding over the years and there have been fears of a catastrophic flood if the natural dam holding the lake gives way. A man-made dam has also been installed in recent years to prevent this. We walked on the frozen lake and got to the middle and with the wind blowing it was freezing up there. As we descended towards Na, the wind howled and the snow began to fall in a furious frenzy. <laughs> and then in no time, almost mischievously, the sun came back again as it sparkled against frozen waterfalls. After watching this, we bet you want to go there as well. Here is how you can do that. Catch a bus from Ratna Park that apparently leaves at 5.30 in the morning, which will take you all the way to Tetet, the starting point of your track. Or as we did, you can take a bus from Jodibuti to Tolokha and hire a jeep from there. Yeah. 
the road to the hiking point was relatively smooth and scenic. about 7 hours of driving from Kathmandu all the way to our starting point for the trek. Chet is a small village on the road to the northern border with China. Upon reaching, we started our two-hour hike to the village of Simigao on the same day. The Gaurishankar Conservation Area starts once you cross this bridge. From here until all the way to Thurulpa, we came across various colorful artworks of gods on massive rocks. As we were entering Simigao in the lower hills of the region, we could smell the feeling of tranquility in the air. Ah, oh, my figure is eh? We made our first new friend here. We also witnessed this massive wildfire that appeared to be man-made most likely to clear out dead organic material and encourage new growth of seedlings. Bye! Nice Thank meeting you! Bye! Bye. 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 We spent the night in Simigao, one of the largest villages in the region where there are only a handful of guest houses. The next day, we woke up to the view of Mount Gauri Shankar, a mountain near the west of Rolwaling Himal. Sherpa people call it Dzomo Tsiringma in the Tibetan language. Gauri is the Hindu goddess manifestation of Parvati, Lord Shiva's beloved wife. Hindu devotees pay homage to Gauri Shankar. After eating a lovely breakfast, we were on our way to Dongang. The pristine wilderness embraced us with a tapestry of rhododendron flowers, gurgling rivers and dense forests that offered a glimpse of nature's raw beauty. The forest is full of wonder. You will discover an abundance of breathtaking beauty as long as you let go of your expectations. Welcome to the jungle. And it's all Lalligrass forest here. Rhododendron. And I'm sure because right now we're only seeing a few trees that are blooming but I'm sure by the time we come back we'll see even more trees the beautiful rhododendron 
flowers. Whoa. Once in a while walking through the forest, we met locals who were either making their way to a different village or just going along with their daily life. My Peter Pire. Only you see my little bakhare rati ko kavita. Only 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 tharo only only ukalo only only terso la vise. I like your nature collection. Yes. It's just given me an idea <laughs> at work with the children. Yeah. Uh, to make. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> I found like really pretty leaves like down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> ha have a wonderful time. Thank you. Don't be afraid to strike up a conversation with strangers. Because why not? Together. Together. <laughs> <laughs> Germany. Germany. Did you go up to the lake? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, behind there's a glacier. There is a guest house in the middle of the way to Dongang at Surmuche, where you can stop for lunch or spend the night if you wish. Dong <laughs> The majesty of the cascading water, the cool mist in the air, and the sound of rushing water all combine to create an awe inspiring display of natural beauty at the foot of waterfalls. And you will come across many waterfalls throughout this trek. We always carry high energy snacks with us while trekking to keep us going through long walks and you need that extra energy. If you run out of water, you can refill at certain spots. Rehydrate and continue taking in the serenity of the forest. Welcome to Calche at 
160 meters. There is one more stop before reaching Donggang if you can't go on any more for the day. One solitary house at Galte. About to get dark, Dongang came into sight. Why na ini pas pas ni? Bari bukan lera, kita saran ke bawah. Mana lah ini pas pas ni? Iya lah, pas pas ni. Biar kita berhati soalnya biar biar ini ada yang lebih bari kan? Biar ini. Dongba is a traditional fermented alcoholic beverage made by cooking millet grains and then fermenting them with yeast. It is believed to have warming and digestive properties, making it a popular drink in the cold Himalayan climate. Today we will be making our way to Piding. Shri is a top lady drying his socks. I'm going to put the light in there. I'm going to put the light in there. I'm going to put the light in there. Oh, I can't see the light in there. I'm going to put the light in there. So shoulder salad. I know, bag itu dah kelas ni. Aku kau ini nak buka bag, buka ni ni. Sorry. Macam mana? Tidur buka ni. Tidur kita buka kita. Yeah, like twenty years ago. Tidur wait kau ni sahaja tidur hari ini buka ni. Oh yeah, puri lock terer ini rau. Sorry, macam mana? Pas tu awal lagi tu. Puri tu, berat. Isteri tak kau ni berat. Tall tall. Asal asal, kau tu altitude jatuh lari. Thirty seven. Proses aku ayah jin naik kau tu. Colorado mah driver love dan pass punya tu ya. Kau tahu? Asalnya thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand feet. Tapi waktu waktu aku jaga boleh aku berapa? The walk to Beading Village is a beautiful and slightly challenging trek that takes you through the heart of the Rolvaling Valley. The trail winds its way up through a lush forest of rhododendrons and fir trees. The Rolvaling River roars right next to you throughout the trail. As you climb, the views of the surrounding mountains become increasingly stunning with the snow-capped peaks of Gauri Shankar Himal, Dorje Lakpa and Melungse towering overhead. I think so far I have probably crossed hundreds of bridges like 
this one. I like the wooden one, so it's interesting and cute and sometimes dangerous looking. <laughs> I don't mind hiking but sometimes when these like stairs keep coming oh man so I think I wanna climb hopefully all of this in one go and I'll probably just get up there and rest for a bit but I think since this is our third day, third day I think I'm getting used to it. I think it's just hard initially. But then once you get hang of it, you just get stronger and you figure out your rhythm and it's easier to do these hikes. Look at my pretty boy all the way over there. Getting two different cameras and taking videos and pictures. He does most of the work. I just be myself and just chill like I always do. Go bar, go bar, Christmas, go bar. It's a piggy funny kind of one, I'll. Oh, you. What is pretty? Throughout the trek, there are only a few tea houses to rest or to stay overnight. Make sure to plan your trip accordingly. Halfway between Dongang and Beiding, there is a house at Thangdingma where we stopped for lunch. <laughs> Look at them boys drinking Coca Cola. Holy, hola no hola. Oh, yeah, bye. Pan 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 is the Oscar Pujama done away? You can't go out of here. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, with our bellies satiated from a delightful feast, we embarked on our journey toward bathing. Right after leaving Thangdingma, there is a bridge that takes you to Daldunga. Avoid the bridge and keep going straight. We are only three hours away from our destination for the night. As we ascended higher, the temperature started dipping. The frigid weather greeted us with glimpses of frozen waterfalls. At 
At Beiding, there is a 300-year-old monastery. The Rolwaling Sangang Choling Gumba is a thriving center of Buddhist learning and practice. It has a large monastic community and offers a variety of educational programs for both monks and lay people. while trekking through the mountains, you never know who you are going to come across. Getting to know Ama was an incredible and enriching experience. Her hospitality filled our hearts with immense joy as she warmly hosted us. Today is our day five. We actually already went to Tarulpa yesterday on our day four. I think this is one of our shortest treks. Um, so today we're going to head down, probably all the way down to where we can catch a bus or a jeep. Uh, we got to bathing two, two nights ago. And then yesterday morning, we went from bathing to Na, we had lunch at Na, and then from Na, we walked for almost two hours, actually one and a half hours, to Chorolpa. And then Chorolpa was frozen. So we actually walked on the lake. Uh, it was still very pretty. And then all of a sudden, the weather changed, and it was windy, and then started snowing. And then we ran back, and then we came here last night, and I bought this new belt that I'm gonna wear all day, every day in the, in Kathmandu. If you are looking for a short, less trodden adventure in Nepal, not too far from Kathmandu, the Chorolpa trek is a perfect choice. <laughs> Embark on a thrilling expedition through the awe-inspiring mountain ranges of eastern Nepal where you can witness some of the most breathtaking scenery in the world and immerse yourself in a distinct way of life. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to like, comment, share and hit that subscribe button. No, bye bye. Bye bye. I'm going to go to the hospital. Escape the stresses of daily life and unwind in the serene tranquility of this incredible part of the world and rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. Subscribe to Travarat if it's your first time here. Share the calmness of Tsurulba. Hit that like button and let us know in the comments if you have any questions about this trek.